Hi, this is Tim. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Micro 800 simulator in Rockwell Automation's Connected Components Workbench software. This is a feature that was added to version 12 of the CCW software, and I've been playing with it for quite a while now. And my opinion of it is the same as it was for the emulators for Studio 5000 and RS Logix 500. While they closely simulate a PLC, they don't react exactly the same. And that's an important thing to make sure you understand if you're going to use the simulator. So I don't recommend this as a replacement for having an actual PLC. But if you're given the choice between having no PLC to work with or using the simulator, then absolutely play with the simulator some, especially to figure out if this is something you really want to get into. Now, as quickly as possible, get a hold of a PLC to play with. I hope it will be one of our trainers. We'll put links to those in the descriptions. But let's go ahead and get started here. They've really made it easy to use this simulator. And so first, let's just create a new project. And we go to the Micro 850. Now you're only gonna see it in the Micro 850 is you're gonna find this 2080 LC50 48QWB-SIM. And that is the simulator. So we're gonna use version 12 of it and we're gonna go ahead and select it. And then we'll add it to our project. And from here, you would write a program just as you normally would. Now, We've got a whole series on how to write programs, so I'm not gonna bore you with that part. I'm actually gonna go over here and I'm gonna open one of our existing programs. And this is the Getting Started program that comes with all of our 820 PLCs. We're gonna go up here to where it says Micro 820 Controller. We're gonna right click it, and we're gonna go down to Change Controller. And I am gonna change this to that 2080-LC50-48QWB-SIM. We'll click OK. And then we're ready to start our simulator. So we're gonna go over here to Tools and then this Micro 800 Simulator. And if you don't see that, make sure that you do have version 12 of the Connected Components Workbench. And if you have an older version, I'll put a link down in the description of how you can download the latest version. So this is kind of a good representation of what that Micro 850 would look like. And we have a power button here, so we're gonna hit the Power Own button. And right here, you're gonna see this IP address, 192.168.1.123. And that's where we're gonna find this simulated PLC. So we're gonna go over here to Device and Set Communication Path, because I was downloading to this physical PLC. So I'm gonna browse. And then we go to our Ethernet IP driver, which we've configured in a previous video. If you're having any issues, look in the description. There'll be links to help you with all of these. And in there, we're gonna see a device at 192.168.1.123. Now it's showing a question mark, and it could be that Morris Lynx is um, out of date. I'm not really sure. But if we click OK to it, close. And now we're gonna download our program to it. And we'll download with project values. It says the download has succeeded. And do we want to switch it to run mode? We do, so we're going to click yes. And then right here in the bottom, we still have this PLC simulator here. We're going to click it. And now we see this is powered up and it's showing in run mode. And if you touch these inputs here, they'll simulate the inputs in your software. So let's just drag this, well, for now, let's just drag it down where we can only see the inputs. And we'll open up our program. And there it's simulating input four being true. So if we touch it again, it's gonna go off. We go to five, let's see that one light up. So it works decent for that. And also it does actually run. So in our case, input eight is gonna make it sequence through these outputs. And yeah, it does work. Now again, I've already found a few differences between the simulator and the H20, and it's by no means meant to be exactly the same as an H20. It's a great tool to help you just get your feet wet into programming and kind of see if you like it and kind of start to understand some of the instructions. But as soon as you can, get you a real PLC. Like I said, I would love for it to be one of ours, and I'll put links to these in the description. Till next time.
Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.